Hello fellow modelers and styrene fanatics, welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is doing fine and enjoys the hobby. Once again, the Concrete Banker is back for another broadcast. Since the state of the treasury hasn't changed at all from the last time, once again your host will be Split Personalities and Parallel Universes George. Oh, that guy, again. In today's episode we work on the, our base for the Soviet M30 Howitzer and crew, aka our artillery group build project. Like every other time, you guys know the drill. You have to make yourselves comfortable, so grab a seat and crack open the mandatory cold one. Past George is going to take over, so let's see what he has done. Well, 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 welcome back my friends. As always, Past George is uh, right here with you. And uh, once again, I have the first update on this particular uh, video that I'm going to upload, of course. And uh, here is what I have done so far. So, I started with the small parts, the accessories. Here is the two wooden crates I salvaged from my spare box. Here where, because the one failed. Next up we have, of course, the other wooden uh, box from this kit. I'm, I have managed to detail paint it, detail paint it, uh, paint the wood texture. Of course, this has been done with the combinations of these two colors from Vallejo as always and with uh, a homemade wash I can remember what I have in here definitely I have oils but I cannot remember which ones uh, in specific if, anyway if I recall it I'm gonna write it down as a comment and here we have the open wooden box with the two um, cells inside I have a uh, Google M30 cells so they gave me many different colors some of them had uh, this portion as uh, gray and this one as uh, green I and others had this por portion as a brass and this as green I choose to uh, go with brass because I don't know cells are more familiar in brass for me and We have the crew together. I Have managed to paint them Not my best work because you know guys. I'm not a figure painter, but I am really happy with them Here we have Sasa if I <laughs> remember his name correctly he is the the ranked guy by in my head here we have the master chef I cannot remember the name but I'm gonna write it down I may need to uh, give another coat of uh, flesh on his face because he's a little bit black right now the hungry guy And Pulse with Vodka, the incredible duo. I'm really happy with this paint job on these figures. It's one of my best, best ones so far. So I really want to thank uh, Gavin Booth for that because I watch a lot of his videos and he helps a lot by the tutorials on figures so I have uh, picked a few tips and tricks from Gavin so thank you Gav now uh, I'm gonna need to pause the video reposition my camera and uh, start start working on the base but before I start working on the base I'm gonna reveal my grand plans for it to you so we're gonna see what is going to happen to be honest, we're gonna see what I have in mind and then we're gonna see what I could manage to do. 
So give me a moment and I'll be back. As I said, there, is, there was a moment for you. Now, what you see in front of you is a piece of uh, foam board I found on work because I am a scavenger and uh, whatever I find over there that catches my eye, I bring it back home like a squirrel. So, uh, this one is a rough sketch of what I am going to do. I have written it in Greek with uh, weird letters <laughs> because I, can do, I cannot do very good letters anyway. So here is how the plan how the plan is in my mind. Over here is gonna be the M30 with the crew. I'm gonna dig uh, the whole area uh, down about uh, you know about the size of this guy, the height of this guy. Sorry, and um, I'm gonna put some wood planks on the floor and of course I'm gonna put wood planks all around on the vo on the walls because that's the most uh, the most usual trenches I see in uh, in pictures so this little square here and this little square here is gonna be a nail you know uh, not a nail, a corridor, now I remember the word <laughs> probably, uh, so both corridors here and here they're gonna have some wooden planks on their walls as well and this is gonna be a slope probably uh, that will help the crew go down to the and access the M30 of course now all around is gonna be uh, ground and vegetation and that's my plan uh, because I need to make this one small because I'm running out of space I'm probably going to cut this portion out and that portion out so this is my rough sketch I'm gonna start working on it right now I'm gonna make a mess my girlfriend is gonna kill me if I make it I'll be back and I'm gonna tell you what exactly I have did and how close I stuck on this plan so see you later guys several hours later hello my friends I'm back again <laughs> as I told you indeed it is it is several hours later as you can see in front of you I have carved uh, the foam board using this trusty knife that we use for spreading butter right now we're using it for cutting a uh, foam cord and this spoon which has various uses right now it can uh, <laughs> uh, carve um, a foam, foam cord again and here is how uh, the layout is gonna be for the time being Hold on your seats, guys, because we are going on wobbly mode. I'm really sorry. This thing is huge and I cannot uh, find the proper place to put my camera. So, wobbly mode it is. Give me a moment. So, as you can see, here is the slope. The two corridors here and here. This is where the gun is going to be. Over here in the middle is going to be a fire and all the guys around the fire are gonna chat, drink vodka and eat. Of course over here I've got my accessories. They're gonna go in various places inside the trench. And right now that I have the basic shape ready I will start working onto the groundwork. Uh, I have managed to remove this one. It was over here. Now it is not so I can make it smaller. I won't be able to remove that part 
because you know the wall over here needs something to hold on anyway my next step is going to create uh, to lay down the the first uh, coat of groundwork quote unquote i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna be back to tell you how exactly i did it uh, everything works fine so far if you ask me i am a bit nervous for uh, for the next step anyway nothing more for me to say you've got to wait see you on the next step guys hello guys welcome back again to on another wobbly mode update as you can see in front of you we have completed uh, our base code if i may uh, of groundwork on the on our diorama what you see in front of you is the first layer uh, i have added over here here and all around modeling clay of course the first layer was pva glue then modeling clay and this is just a mix of colors for uh, groundwork I, this won't be the final look sorry my cat is on the way <laughs> she came to check it out this won't be the final look and now our next uh, stage will be to add all around here and on the corridors uh, the wood logs that add that they installed onto the wall and the wood floor and I'm gonna do that by the use of coffee steering sticks and various other stuff anyway I'm gonna complete that task and I'll be back with another update see you soon hi guys welcome to another wobbly mode update it is early in the morning the last video I took was uh, yesterday night and as you can see in front of you, probably because I'm shaking like crazy over here, give me a moment. As you can see in front of you, I have managed to complete all the woodwork on the trenches. This is all coffee steering sticks and these small uh, poles over here are uh, bamboo skewers for, uh, for meat, you know. I've got a bunch of them, of uh, bamboo skewers and uh, coffee steering sticks. I cut them on size and uh, applied some PVA glue and sunk them onto the groundwork. Now, uh, the next thing I did was to apply my earth texture from Vallejo as usual all over the base. And then I did uh, an experiment. I used uh, another different technique, what you, as you can see. For the groundwork, I applied another layer, which was which is very interesting. And uh, <clears throat> sorry, I wanna I wanna do that again. This material you see over here is. Um, filter coffee and Greek coffee as we say it probably uh, normally it is Turkish coffee but anyway my grandma used to call it Greek coffee so I'm sticking with it this is my excuse this is a uh, Greek coffee and uh, filter coffee I have uh, drink already I kept the the coffee dried dried it in the oven so to get all the moisture out and all the you know the bad things so now it is like uh, you know not dust it is it looks like uh, mud and, uh, and earth and uh, then I applied it all over the, acry the acrylic earth texture and just uh, blended it and here it is how it looks right now I can still blend it, I can do whatever I want. So, uh, I would recommend you guys to give it a try if you want to recycle your uh, filter coffee. 
it is a pretty cool effect. Anyway, now my next step should be the apply uh, the application of some vegetation, grass, tufts, and stuff like that, and then um, probably I would apply. I will apply the figures, uh, accessories, the artillery, uh, the artillery gun over here and make a frame all around the base for the first time ever <laughs> I will make a frame so uh, I will pause the video right now and start working on the vegetation and I'll be back to show you what exactly I have done and here we have it my friends this is the last update on our base me and my dog as you can see over there are exhausted from all the the work we have done on to it here is the vegetation I have added simple stuff just some grass and some tufts here and there and here is the frame I have elevated it because I just uh, I have just painted it and I'm waiting for it to, uh, to dry, for the second coat to dry. I would love to add some further vegetation but uh, at the time being I am out of grass tufts and, uh, and vegetation in general so it is what it is, it is a simple base, I am happy with it, uh, everything has uh, gone according to plan. And this is gonna be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, learned some stuff in the process. And um, stick along for the next episode. Past George is out. Bye bye. And with all that said and done, we have made it to the end of this build. In our next episode, uh, probably we're gonna put the whole diorama together, so accessories, figures, and of course, the main protagonist, the howitzer, is gonna go into the base, and probably we're gonna have a final. Before I go, I wanna thank each and every one of you guys for watching. I also want to welcome any newcomers. I hope that all of you are enjoying my videos and what I do here. If so, you all know what to do. Leave a like comment with your thoughts and opinions, share the video or even consider subscribing for more builds to come your way. Until the next time fellow modelers and friends, take care and model on, it was that more for Damon, signing out.